you look at it, it looks like we have had a little bit of mesial drift of both the primary second molar and the permanent first molar there. Um, not terribly significant. Uh, it looks like that tooth was lost fairly recently. If we are to evaluate the crowding on this case, how much crowding would you say we have in this arch and how are you determining that? So first off, we noted if anything, the centrals were a little bit proclined. So if anything, we're not going to gain any space from proclining them more, right? So we know that where those teeth are, if anything, it's going to require more space than we have, not less space than we have. When we look between uh, canine to canine, you know, she doesn't have her permanent lateral incisors in yet. She still has her primary lateral incisors. We've got maybe about two millimeters of space there. And so we're going to need a little bit more space for these lateral incisors compared to the primary lateral incisors. So let's just say that's pretty close to a wash between the space we have here and the space we're going to need here. Then that would tell us that at least on this side, we're looking pretty good, right? We have from canine to second molar, all those baby teeth are there. And on this side, maybe we're shy a millimeter or so. So definitely not a severely crowded case, very, very, very minimal, like very, very minimal crowding. Maybe just a little bit from the space loss and that's about it. 